we can't get things here in the classroom that are at absolute zero, but we can get some things that are very cold, like liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is at 70 degrees Kelvin. <laughs> it's really cold. That's the air basically turned into a liquid. And we can have a lot of fun with it. Uh, and, and when we actually um, put the flour in the liquid nitrogen, okay, we now have a mess. <laughs> you guys have to clean it up. With my balloon. Let me get it out of here. All right. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now, hopefully, it's not broken, but as it warms up. Oh. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Ooh, my fingers. I can't, can't feel my fingers. Oh, man. I can't feel my fingers. What's wrong with my fingers? I still can't feel my finger. Here. <laughs> Another great illustration of what we can do with something very cold is illustrating another important physical relationship. And that's pressure times volume is proportional to the temperature. If I take a balloon and I make it very cold, you'll see that the balloon shrinks. Why? Well, the pressure inside and outside of the balloon is the same. You might say, oh, that's not true, a balloon will pop. Well, just think a minute. Well, I'm blowing up a balloon, the balloon gets bigger. Well, when I stop blowing it up, if the pressure inside was still higher, it would still be getting bigger. If the pressure outside was higher, it would be getting smaller. So when the balloon's done, the pressure inside equals the pressure outside. So in this case, the pressure is going to be a constant. We're not changing the pressure in the room. But if I lower the temperature of the gas inside there by having it sit in the liquid nitrogen, the volume will have to go down. Look at my relationship. If the pressure is constant and the temperature goes down, the volume has to go down. And indeed, the balloon shrinks. If we let the air inside the balloon heat up again, the balloon will come back to its same size.